Simultaneous extraction and placement is a method of hair transplant that we remove hair and place them at the same time, almost at the same time. So we make the sites, we make the incisions, the design, the holes, the grafts has to go into, and then we start removing hair and placing at the same time. So usually there are like three or four people constantly working on patients as the grafts are going out, they're being assessed out of the body and coming back and being implanted within a short period of time. That keeps the grafts out of the body for a very short time and that helps the growth of the grafts. The recovery after hair transplant is very simple. People usually don't have any sutures or bandage or anything except for the very first night that we put a bandage and remove it afterwards. There's no scar to, to worry about it. The hair wash is done the day one after the procedure. After that, you may have some swelling on the forehead. Uh, eyes might get a little bit puffy occasionally. Pain is very minimal. Um, some redness, some pinkish discoloration may last for days or occasionally for a week or two but uh, people are functional, they can go back to work with no problem. So anesthesia for hair transplant is usually local anesthesia. We don't have to do general anesthesia, we use some sedation and local anesthesia, we call it ring block. So we go around the scalp and numb all those nerves that are innervating the top. So everything is gonna be numb throughout the process, you should not feel anything at all. What sedations we use before hair transplant? Uh, we usually use laughing gas, which is very safe. Patients are using it, they start breathing. After one minute, they kind of feel drunk or a little bit uh, lightheaded. And when we give them the local anesthesia, they don't feel even the pinching of local, or if they, they do, it's not gonna be as much. We also give a little bit of a Valium or diazepam. It's a tablet that they take and they keep them relaxed throughout the process. 